All right, guys, welcome back to Survival Living here. So, in case you guys have missed the big news or want my take on the news that's out there right now, um, the U.S. has now allowed contractors into Ukraine to operate. In other words, fight. Yeah. So, now we're going to have um, former military personnel on Ukraine's soil fighting the Russians. And on top of that, looks like North Korea is also going to be sending troops to Ukraine. Yeah. You know what, guys? If you're not prepping right now, you've got your head in the sand. I don't know why you're on prepping channels. Um, for those that are seeing what's going on, keep stacking. I mean, keep stacking. Get what you can now. Because when this pops, it's not going to be isolated there. They're going to be hitting us. Yeah. That's my belief, my opinion, and that's what I'm preparing for. To think that Russia is just going to lay down and let U.S. contractors and mercs operate and take out Russian soldiers without any repercussion is asinine to me. It really is. And the thing with... Uh, North Korea. Now, North Korea has been sending weapons, I believe it is, since 2023, since last year. So, I was expecting them to maybe do a little bit more. I wasn't expecting troops. Now, are they fighting troops? I don't know yet. Some are saying it's just observers and strategic planners. I don't know. What I do know is North Korea has been encroaching in South Korea. Yeah, they've been crossing the line a lot, actually. Guys, the whole world is ready to go at war. Look at the the information that's going out of Lebanon right now. Uh, countries are telling their people that are in Lebanon, get out. They know, the, the government and military knows things that happened before we ever have anything, before we get any news at all. They already know. They've already got 10 steps ahead of us every single time. For them to be telling their people to get out now means that Something major is fixing to happen there in Lebanon, and it's going to be Israel. We'll be back in Israel in this. And I don't care. I want to get the comments, well, we need to be this, and we need to be that, we need to stay out of this, we need to stay out of that. The fact is, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what you and I say. Our governments are doing their own thing. They do not care about what we're doing or what we think. So, quite frankly, it doesn't matter who should be there or what's going on as far as that's concerned because the fact of the matter is you need to be preparing your family for what's coming. Now, unless you're ready to take on the whole world by yourself. I mean, that's just the facts. All right? You could be screaming, hollering, typing away on your freaking keyboard all day, all night, and odds are that's exactly what you only do. You don't do anything else. You don't exercise. You don't train. You do not prepare. You are not preparing for what's coming. But man, you've got to hit that freaking keyboard. Well, blah, blah, blah. Well, blah, blah, blah can bite you in the ass. There. I said it. What you need to be doing is stocking up food, water filtration, medical, hygiene products, alternative power. You need to get things in place for your family because when this pops, you're not going to get it. What You know what? Maybe, just maybe, what you're going to do is you're going to ride out and run to daddy government. Make sure you go low cup, all right? I'm, you, that way, you know, kind of low cup there. Please, sir, I'm going to have another. And maybe they'll help you out when you snitch on somebody else. Man, maybe... You know, they'll, they'll help you out a little bit more as long as you're snitching, letting them know what's going on in your area because you didn't prep. You're too busy typing away about how nothing ever happens. Well, you must live in a fantasy bubble because you can see what's going on. It might not affect you directly right now, but it will. It will. I'll tell you this much. Don't, don't come to my house. Don't come to my prepper community. It'll be... The worst mistake you ever make. And then again, maybe you're just looking for an easy way out of life and everything else. Well, maybe. Wake up, people. I mean, seriously, wake up. 
this stuff is not going away we have way too much stuff going on you know they're going to have another major conflict in the middle east hezbollah israel that was just warming everything up that's all what well, lebanon iran gets involved russia diving in on there too china where's china at right now have we heard anything recently taiwan you don't think china is not going to try to aid the middle east too these are major superpower players we ran with a commander in chief that gets lost when a parachuter comes in and he just turns around and starts walking off to the guy that's picking up the chute thinking i don't know what he was thinking leader of the free world the one that's going to make sure our security and defense here in this homeland is there for the american people while we let millions of undocumented people cross the border that many of them have ties to terrorist organizations and that has been proven you know when i first started reading those articles and people were uh sending me the emails hey this is happening right now but i couldn't actually find actual proof i said i've done the videos I said, and when i find that proof i'll be happy to discuss it well the proof's there we have sleeper cells here in this country we're in for a very rude awakening our government hasn't ever cared about anything we do all it is governments politicians is about banks money what well, banks is money what they can do for themselves their own agendas they don't care about you they let this division you know this country was founded on some amazing principles it really was those principles gone now you have freaking pronouns you know you have complete insanity is what it is complete insanity look up the definition of insane mental health mental disorders start looking at some mental disorders and then look at what the world around us here in the states alone is going on in society instead of treating and fighting for these people to get treatment that they really do need instead they're, they're celebrated heroes chop off your stick and berries and become a woman you're a hero you know in the wise words of john connor we're not going to make it this country it's not you know they said they've been selling out this country years for years now they've been saying they've been selling this stuff out we can look at deep ports and stuff like that we can look at how our businesses have sold out went overseas cheaper labor no taxes free epa dump stuff out in the ocean and the american taxpayer has to pay for it all you know when they come up with that carbon emission tax and pollution tax and all this stuff that you get to pay for while the millionaires dump crap in the ocean by the tonnage but that's okay and we just have to deal with it our government does not care about us what you need to do is make sure your family is took care of you need to have stocks and supplies you need to make sure you have food put back you have stuff put back put away don't keep it all in one location. I've covered that so many times and given why you do not do that. One simple house fire, one large mob comes in, and I don't care how badass you think you are. You're not. You're not. I'm pretty badass myself, and I ain't stupid. I know when you have to evac out. You know, the bug out plan. There are times to get out of Dodge. Or... You can just let your family get slaughtered and everything else that happens during those type of riots and raids and everything else. Great parenting. Great parenting. Stock up. Get ready for this. Speak to y'all later.